Oh, besties, I have some bad Sims news. I've had these suspicions for a while, but it was confirmed last night that we are not getting another expansion pack this year. So let me give you some context. And th Now, this might not actually be bad news. Maybe you didn't want another expansion pack this year, but let me give you some context. So last month, they tweeted this. New season, new Sims. Time to celebrate a new side of your Sims selves with this roadmap. And they did this over the summer as well for the Summer of Sims thing. And it contains a list of all of the new content coming to The Sims 4 for this season of selves thing. Now, it doesn't really tell you how long this season of selves is gonna last. Like, is it fall? Is it fall and winter? Is it the rest of the year? It doesn't say. What it does say, and I'll move my face for this, just to a random spot on the screen, it's fine. Whether you're heading back to school, back to work, or trying to get back to reality, tis the season to celebrate all your Sims selves. Try on looks that defy borders and boundaries with three global fit kits. Now, we've got two of them, so we still have one coming. Cultivate your modern sanctuary with a fresh new build kit and enjoy free updates plural with an S, that add dimension to your Sims lives, let you customize your space with color, and unlock new ways to play. We got one of those. We got that like swatch update, which was huge. I mean, we loved it. We got two of the kits. The other two kits are unannounced, but there's nothing else listed on this roadmap. No expansion, no game pack, no stuff pack, just kits. Which, if you're like me, is a little bit disappointing. I mean, I was kind of hoping for some more substantial content. I'm not a huge fan of kits. I would truly prefer one $20 game pack than four or kits totaling $20. <laughs> <laughs> because the game pack usually is more meaty, comes with gameplay and stuff like that. I'm also not super into like fashion kits. That's mostly because I mostly build, so obviously the build kits are more exciting to me, which it sounds like we're gonna get one of. Let me put my face back. <laughs> so on The Sims website, you can see this like season of selves thing, and then they have these four kits, two of which we already got like a couple weeks ago, and then sanctuary vibes and defying style boundaries. So we have the next two kits kind of teased, nothing else teased, yikes. <laughs> and then then last night, The Sims tweeted out that there's gonna be another Inside Maxis live stream. These are actually usually pretty good. It'll probably be like a 30 minute long live stream on October 26th at 11 a.m. Pacific. I will make a video about it afterward, obviously. And in these, they usually start off by like talking about the community and like maybe featuring some Simmers. It looks like they've got a couple things being featured here. There's a special effect, special guest planned. But then at the end, they talk about some hot topics, like usually answer questions. They might address like, hey, there's been this bug for a while. Why isn't it fixed yet? Like stuff like that. And then they usually do a sneak peek at the end. And in the past, these sneak peeks have ranged from like, here's some concept art of a new hairstyle we're working on, to like, leaking the new cast <laughs> with the likes and dislikes and the hair colors in it before they were announced. So the sneak peek probably has an opportunity to be pretty big. I don't think they're gonna announce a pack in this. Like, these live streams aren't usually very big, but I do think it's possible they could announce a kit during this. Like, I don't think they would ever announce a pack that usually gets a trailer dropped for it, but they don't like drop trailers for the kits. They usually just post a picture, so I think it's possible the kits could get announced during this stream. But like I said, I'll keep you posted on this. That'll be next week. The problem comes with SimGuru Frost clarification. So we've all been kind of holding out that this season of selves is just gonna be like October and November, and then maybe in December we'll get an expansion pack, because usually we get an expansion in the summer, and then in like the late fall, winter time. Like we usually talk like June, November are kind of the times that expansions drop. Well, since we're in late October and we haven't had any news about expansion packs yet. I personally have had my suspicions that there isn't gonna be another one this year. Like, you would assume that there would have been a Sims camp by now, or like, a teaser, or you know, something by now to tell us about the next expansion coming. Well, there hasn't been. And SimGuru Frost tweeted, in response to this question, are we gonna get another roadmap? Because that EP time frame is slowly slipping away. And then SimGuru Frost said, the season of selves covers October, November, and December. Ah! <laughs> So that means that there will not be another expansion pack in 2021. So I'm kind of a little bit sad about this. Like we've been used to getting two expansions a year this whole time of The Sims 4. I always love new content. Expansion packs are the most fun because they're the most meaty. I keep calling them meaty, but you know what I mean. <laughs> they come with worlds and gameplay and cast and build and usually a big free update alongside them. Like they're fun. It's fun to get new expansions. They're expensive, but I would prefer to have like an expansion over a bunch of kits, you know? So why are they not making another expansion pack this year? Well, 
well. Obviously, this is all speculation, but it's sort of seeming to me like they're winding down The Sims 4 a little bit. I don't think it's gonna end, like, soon. I think we still have a couple years left in our system, but I think, and again, this is speculation, not- I don't have, like, any confirmed knowledge on this. Just for the record, if I knew about this, I'd be keeping my mouth shut, okay? <laughs> but I think what's happening is that a lot of the team of The Sims 4 is, like, slowly transferring to The Sims 5. Maybe they're hiring new people for The Sims 4 to finish it off, but a lot of the main Sims 4 team would be transferring to The Sims 5, and they're, like, winding down with like heavy new content like expansion packs. We know The Sims 5 is in development. I don't know if it's gonna be called The Sims 5, but there is like a new Sims game in development. It probably won't come out for a few years, so don't panic too much. But this has been happening for a while. So SimGuru Grant used to be the senior producer on The Sims 4, and then he left, but kept working at EA on a different Maxis game. I wonder what that is <laughs> that the senior producer is now working on instead. He's been at Maxis for 14 years. I wonder what he could be doing now. So you get it, right? Like it's clear that they're working on on it behind the scenes. These games take a long time to make, so it's not gonna come out anytime soon. I'm gonna keep saying that, but I feel like that's what's happening. We're winding down, which makes me sad because that means that probably there's only gonna be a few more expansion packs total for The Sims 4 and probably not anytime soon. Like, I wouldn't be surprised if the next one didn't come out until next summer, which is disappointing to say the least. I'm really curious to know like what their plans behind the scenes are. Like, we haven't had a stuff pack since Paranormal and that came out in January of 2021. So at this point, there won't be one this this year. Will there be another one a full year later next January? Like, I don't know what- I have no idea what's happening. We've had so many kits this year and, like, nothing else. But I suppose the other, like, silver lining of this is that that roadmap did say updates plural. So I'm still holding out hope for another big update this year. So until December, we have two kits <laughs> and hopefully another big update. I guess we did get a really big update recently, so so that helps. It like lessens the pain. That swatch update was huge, I will admit. The other thing I'm curious is like what the future of expansion packs looks like for The Sims 4. So I'm gonna compare this to The Sims 3 because that's like the most recent thing we have to compare it to. Granted, The Sims 3 did first come out in 2009, so <laughs> keep that in mind. But The Sims 3 had 11 total expansion packs. We currently have 11 total expansion packs. The Sims 3 had World Adventures, which was like a travel pack. Ambitions, that was kind of like get to work, you had like active careers. Late night, kind of similar to city living in the sense that we had a city for the first time and you could like, you know, go to bars and stuff. Generations was a big family-based pack that I long for in The Sims 4. Pets, obviously. Showtime, kind of like Get Famous. Supernatural was like a whole supernatural pack. Like they, instead of having like vampires separate, it was like vampires, werewolves, fairies, all together in one. We had Seasons, we had University, we had Island Paradise, and then it ended with Into the Future. Those other ones are pretty self-explanatory, but Into the Future was kind of out there. In it, you could like time travel to the future and your actions in the present affected what your future ended up being like. It was pretty cool, but it was also like a little bit unexpected. And so what I'm taking from this with The Sims 4 is that we've kind of done all of the expected. There are things that I still want to see, like other occults, generations, I want more family gameplay, but like for the most part, all the, the big names like University and Seasons and pets, those are covered. So what's next? Like, I think this leaves some room to do some kind of wacky creative things, which I'm okay with. I look forward to seeing where it goes. And at this point, The Sims 4 seems like she's gonna go on for quite a while. The Sims 4 first came out in September of 2014. I would not be surprised if The Sims 5 does not come out until after 2024. So we're looking at a 10 year game. <laughs> There's probably gonna be a few more packs. No need to worry about that. And again, let me be clear. I feel like I need to keep saying this. I don't know anything about The Sims 5. I do not have any insider knowledge on this. This is pure speculation. People always assume I know more than I do. And listen, listen, if I did know, why would I talk about it on YouTube? <laughs> I would get sued by EA. Like if I signed an NDA and then got told something and then I made a video being like, hey guys, I think this is gonna happen. I think I'd get in a little bit of trouble. You can't just get told something and then pretend to guess it online. Like, so anyway, I don't know any, I'm just guessing based on like what I know about games and the, the little tidbits of knowledge we have about these, but there is my Sims news for the day. I am sorry to tell you that there will not be another expansion pack this year. I was kind of sad about it too. I am still like hoping and praying for a generations pack. I think about this on the daily. So cross your fingies, summer 2022, maybe that'll be our time. Oh, it might not be summer, it could be sooner. I just, I don't have high hopes. I'm trying to keep my expectations low as to not be disappointed. Do you know what I mean? Winter 2022, <laughs> fingies crossed, generations. I did make a whole video where I presented what I would like to see in a generations pack in The Sims 4, so I'll link that for you down below. And again, I'll keep you all posted on The Sims live stream next week. If you wanna watch it, it's gonna be on The Sims Twitch channel, just twitch.tv forward slash The Sims 
times on the 26th at 11 a.m. Pacific. So if you follow them now, you'll get like a notification when they go live, but I will also make a video breaking it down for you, don't worry. Also, one last thing, in the comments, let me know, are you disappointed to not have another expansion pack this year? Because I also understand that like not everyone wants a lot of big expensive packs. Like you might prefer to have the kits because they're cheaper and like easier to bite because it's five bucks at a time instead of like a, a big hefty purchase. So maybe you're excited about this. I don't know. Personally, I really want another world, so I'm sad. <laughs> but I'm curious to hear your thoughts because obviously we all are going to have different opinions on this. So let me know. And with that being said, I will see you all tomorrow. Bye everybody. I don't like making sad Sims news videos. I prefer when there's big announcements that I can make videos about and then gush about. That's more fun. I don't like speculating about things not happening. I prefer to do the opposite.